All right, when you're working with uh, multiplying binomials, there are actually two special products that come up all the time. Um, and they are uh, this one right here, that's uh, the quantity a plus b squared, and then this one, which is uh, a plus b and a minus b. They're so common um, that you really just need to know, uh, as soon as you see it, you need to pretty much know what the answer is. Um, so if you see the quantity a plus b squared, you need to know that that's going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Um, the way that I learned this was uh, first you square the first, so the first is right there. Um, next you multiply them together, so multiplying them together would mean to multiply a and b, so you'd get ab and then times 2. Um, so we would do that. Um, then we're going to square the last, and so squaring the last would be b squared. Um, so we end up with square the first, so that'll give us a squared. Uh, multiply them together is ab times 2, so that's 2ab. And then square the last, b squared. And then add those all together. So let's do a couple practice problems and see. So we have x plus 3 squared, so I'm going to Square the first thing, so I'm squaring x, get x squared. I'm going to multiply um, x and 3 together to get 3x and double it, so plus 6x. Um, and then square the last to get plus 9. Another problem would be the quantity 2x minus 3 squared. This is actually no different. Um, it's just 2x plus negative 3, and then the whole quantity squared. So square the first gives us 4x squared. Multiply them together gives me negative 6x. But then I double it, so negative 12x. And then square the last, so that'll be plus 9. And there we go. Let's take a look at another one. So x squared plus 5, the whole quantity squared. So square the first, so x squared squared is x to the fourth. Multiply them together, gives me 5x, but double it to get 10x squared. Sorry, multiply them together, gives me 5x squared. Double it for 10x squared, and then square the last, so plus 25. Let's look at one more. So we have 2x minus 3y, the quantity squared. So uh, square the first, 4x squared. Multiply them together gives me negative 6xy. Double it is negative 12xy. And then square the last to get 9y squared. Um, so I have that. So that's one of the special products. Uh, the next one is a plus b, a minus b. And that one uh, simplifies really nicely to a squared minus b squared. Um, the way I learned this was, uh, you square the first, so what that means is this, so square the first, that'll give us a squared. Um, you square the last, so this is the last, so that's going to give us b squared, and then you subtract those. Um, so subtracting them would give me a squared minus b squared. Um, so let's, yeah, uh, I mean, I think of it as the middle term dropping out, um, because you're used to when you multiply two uh, binomials getting a trinomial, but in this case we get another binomial. Um, so I think of it as dropping out. Uh, let's look at an example here. So I've got x plus 7 times x minus 7. So I'm going to square the first, that's x squared. Square the last is 49, subtract them. So x squared minus 49. Um, another example would be uh, 3x plus 5, 3x minus 5. So I'm going to square the first to get 9x squared. Uh, and then I'm just going to put in the minus because it always works out that way. So it's uh, 9x squared minus and then square the last to get 25. Let's look at something uh, you might think is more complicated. So 4x minus 5y times 4x plus 5y. Um, so square the first gives me 16x squared, and then minus, and then square the last to get 25y squared. And a final example, um, so 9 minus 4x, and 9 plus 4x. And so square the first to get 81 minus, square the last to get 16x squared. Um, so those are the special products. It's really important to know them, uh, first of all, because you have to go in this direction really, really quickly. Um, if you see a plus b squared, make sure you can do that probably in your head. 
if you see A plus B, A minus B, you got to identify it really quickly. Um, the other advantage is that uh, when you start factoring, which you're going to start doing soon if you haven't already, um, noticing these patterns, you know, for example, here we see uh, something squared minus something squared, here something squared minus something squared. When you notice that pattern, you know how to factor immediately. Um, so it's a very useful skill, and uh, I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.